How do you explain to a nine-year-old? Have you ever done in school something called a family tree? What three generations of women before her passed down? Bottom line, we all have high cholesterol. Extremely high. Mine unmedicated is in the upper 300s to 400. The first time we tested Shannon, hers was in the 400s. And then Zoe, same, upper 300s. That's nearly double what normal cholesterol should be for a child. For an adult, a healthy reading is less than 200. That becomes very scary because all the things that go with that, potential stroke is, is not something pleasant to think about. And while each daughter got from her mother a gene she wishes she had it. Well, you can thank Mimi for that one. What they also gained is the benefit of a family history steeped in decades of life-changing discovery. This was groundbreaking research. I think UT Southwestern is where it all started. If my grandmother hadn't participated in that study, who knows how long it would have been if we, you know, before we, we found out there was genetic, a genetic factor, or that I would even know to go test my kids. What we now know, thanks to genetic testing at UT Southwestern Medical Center, is that Catherine Getty has familial hypocholesterolemia. Scientifically speaking, there's a defect on chromosome 19. That makes the body unable to clear out low-density lipoprotein, or bad cholesterol, from the blood. For medication for my cholesterol every day, I take uh, a statin. I've been on a statin since 14. Statins came on the market shortly after Shannon Getty Allen's grandmother volunteered in a historic study one that helped UT Southwestern's doctors Michael Brown and Joseph Goldstein on their journey to the 1985 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. The molecular genetics professors traced how people, including Estelle Arms, developed high cholesterol. It really does make me feel proud that my mother was able to participate in that study, that our family has a direct connection to something that is not only significant to us, but also significant to people all over the world. But three decades after taking statins herself, they stopped working. We know we have high cholesterol, but it's not a one size fits all. So she followed in her mother's footsteps and found her solution at UT Southwestern. I was going to need to use the new cholesterol research to uh, address my condition. A new class of cholesterol-lowering drugs called PCSK9 inhibitors. They work wonders for Getty when taken in combination with statins. I got normal numbers for the first time in my life. When I got the, the results back from the blood test, I went, wow, I mean, <laughs> really? And now this mother and daughter lead by example, showing the youngest generation that even though you can't change your genes, you can inherit a drive for keeping your family heart healthy, no matter the obstacle. <laughs>